I have the worst headache like you could ever imagine. Ugh. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be doing my intro without any makeup on, as you can tell. Well, I have a little bit of makeup from earlier in the day, but that doesn't matter, not the point. So this video is going to be about the five things that saved my makeup game. There's a title, boom, sorry, okay. Talking about the things that are literally changed the way my makeup looks and the way it goes on my face. So I'm just gonna get right into it. I'm not gonna be showing a whole tutorial today. I'm just gonna be showing the things that really changed everything for me. So if you want to see five things that changed my makeup game, please keep watching. So the very first thing I'm going to talk about is the first thing that goes on my face when I do my makeup. And I know this is like, everyone knew this was coming, I'm sure. Primer. You don't have to buy an expensive one. You could buy whatever you want, but primer is a must have. It literally acts as a barrier between the moisturizer on your face and your skin to what's going on your face. So it's the in-between. So basically what it does is it grips your foundation and keeps it on all day, which is what you want. You don't want it to move. So this is how we're gonna go about this. I'm gonna show you the primer that I've been using all the time. You guys know, you've seen it in my videos a million times. So this is the Laneige Glowy Makeup Serum. I'm gonna be applying that to my face as my first step. I do have moisturizer on. I love this primer so much. So basically, this is gonna grip your makeup all day, keep it on and help it last and not crease or gather in certain areas where you may be dry or anything like that. So finding the perfect primer is what will change everything for you. This is glowy. I find it hydrating and it grips my makeup and it has that like tacky like finish to it, which I love in a primer and it always Grips my makeup, keeps it on all day, plus it adds a little bit of a glow, and everyone who knows me knows I love a glow. So if you have dry skin, finding something that will hydrate your skin, a primer for hydrating, like the Laura Mercier one, is amazing. Or you could even get like a primer moisturizer in one, which is really good too. You can do glowy, you could do matte because you like matte, it's whatever your preference is, but a primer is a must. Next, I would say, you need a eye primer. A lot of people are either against eye primer or fully with it. I love eye primer. I don't use personal eye primer. I use concealer, which acts as the same situation. Some people don't agree with that. I think it fully grips your eyeshadow and holds it completely and totally there all day. Helps it not crease as long as it's set properly. But if you do want an actual primer, that's a great idea too. Primer saves everything, stops your shadow from creasing, which you do not want for the rest of the day. I'm getting excited and I can't breathe. Next, I'm gonna be showing you the primer I use on my eyes. We all know I use it all the time. It's always concealer, but 90% of the time, the one I use is the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light. So I'm just gonna apply that to my eyes right now, even though I'm not doing the eyes yet, just to give you a little vision of what it's gonna look like. I'm gonna apply that with a brush for now. So you're just gonna apply this to your eye all the way to the brow bone and you're just gonna set it with a little bit of powder. No creasing and it keeps everything intact all day. So now that that's done, number two is one of my favorite things on the planet and you'll notice in all my videos, in 99.99999% of my videos, I use it. So what I love and we all know I love because I only use it all the time is a beauty sponge. This is the Beauty Blender beauty sponge but there are a million beauty sponges out in the world now that you can find whatever for whatever your price point is the beauty sponge will change your life and i know that sounds ridiculous if you don't agree with me that's perfectly fine you can totally use your brush a lot of people still use brushes and that's perfectly fine i use them on my clients all the time and it gives you a great finish but there's nothing like the finish of a beauty blender or a beauty sponge. I've used the Quo one. I even have a little tiny mini one here right now. They're all amazing. I'm gonna apply my foundation while I talk to you about the beauty blender. I keep saying beauty blender and I'm trying to say beauty sponge, but like I'm just so used to saying like beauty blender, beauty blender, ah! beauty sponge, beauty sponge, beauty sponge, beauty sponge, beauty sponge. I said it five times. So when I apply, I love to have it on my hand first because it warms up the product. The beauty blender, Oh, I keep saying beauty blender. So basically the beauty sponge helps your product melt into your face so beautifully. It gives you that airbrush finish 99.9% .9 of the time. Obviously, if you have a lot of texture on your skin, it may not give you the airbrush finish that you're looking for, but it will keep your, keep your foundation going on smoothly. And especially if you're somebody who likes a little bit more of a sheer finish, adding the the damp water to the beauty sponge, which you should use it damp, but I think there are people that like to use it dry, which is perfectly fine too. But using it damp really adds that like sheerness to it and makes your skin absorb it so much nicer. 
Anyway, a beauty blender helps to avoid your makeup from caking on, which I know is like, some people actually go for that, which is cool. But like for me, I'm not into the cake vibe. I don't love makeup super caked on my face. So it actually takes away extra product because unfortunately it does absorb some of the product. It is a sponge, but it does stop your face from taking on extra product, which is to me, I love that. Look at the finish, like the finish already looks amazing. So I'm gonna go in with my concealer and I'm gonna be using my Shape Tape, the same one I used as my eye primer. This is just the shade Light Medium Sand in the Shape Tape. So I'm gonna apply that under the eye, and on any like problem areas, as we know, everybody needs to do that sometimes. So I'm also gonna blend that out with my beauty sponge. That is the main thing that I love about the beauty sponge. You can do everything with it. And it gives you the same look and the blended, the blending, guys, the blending you get from a beauty sponge changes your life. You know I'm all about blending. If you watch this channel, you know I'm all about blending. You know, you know, come on. So now that that's done, you can see the like how beautifully it went on. It meshes into the concealer so, <laughs> It meshes into the foundation so nicely and also keeps your under eye really hydrated and I find it doesn't crease as much. So next, with the same beauty sponge, we are going to apply the powder. I love, love, love using a damp beauty sponge to apply my powder. That is something that I'm obsessed with. I watched it in a YouTube video, which I can't even remember who because a lot of people do that, but I watched it in a YouTube video and from then on, from when I tried that, it changed my life because powder to me is so drying. I don't have super dry skin, but powder is so drying that when you apply with like a damp sponge, it just keeps you hydrated and stops the powder from creasing and sets it nicer and it meshes into your foundation, concealer, even nicer. Also, it takes away the extra powder, which I really, really love. So I'm just gonna apply that right into any area I wanna set. My third tip or tool that like saved my entire life, technically it's two products, but they go as one. Brow gel and a brow pencil. If you have amazing brows and you don't need a brow pencil, by all means, skip the pencil part, but the gel will change everything for you. Brows frame your face. That is the focal point of your face. Whether you have a lot of brow, a little brow, it doesn't matter. Even if you have no brows. <laughs> okay, I'm laughing at myself. Is that ridiculous? That's ridiculous. To make my eyebrows better, I'm going to fill them in just a little bit at the front. I normally don't show my eyebrows on camera because I get stressed out when I do my eyebrows on camera. So I don't like to do them. Just at the front is where my main issue is really because the rest of it's not too bad, my brows. But I like them to look nice and even because I have more hair on one eyebrow than I do on the other. Again, even if you have a ton of eyebrow and you don't need to fill in your brows, the brow gel keeping them in place, keeping your shape like perfect and in the proper spot, the hairs all in the proper areas will change everything about your makeup look. Even if you go out with just your brows done, it will change everything on your face. There's so many affordable products that work so you don't have to go spend so much money. But if you're looking for a really good one, there is the Morphe Clear one, which is amazing and not super expensive. The Rimmel one is also amazing. Their like clear gel is great. Um, the Essence, if you're looking for a little bit of color, I have the Essence Eyebrow Gel Mascara, which is also really good and very affordable. It's $3.99 or $3 or $2.99 or something. So I'm just gonna apply this to my brows and then they're not gonna move for the rest of the day, which that's what we want. We want the shape to stay exactly as it's supposed to. So these are my brows. My skin looks great. My brows look great. They frame my face like they're supposed to. So I'm just gonna quickly do an eye look off camera and then I'm gonna come back and show you my fourth lifesaver. So now that that's done, we have our eyes on, we have some bronzer on. I'm gonna go back to a little bit of the Beauty Blender talk only because I can just prove another point of why Beauty Blenders are great. So with me, I have a liquid highlighter and a cream blush. You can apply these with your beauty blender and you'll get the best outcome ever, like ever. You could do it with a brush, but the beauty blender just, like I've been saying, makes everything go on smoother. And I'm just going to apply a little bit to the beauty blender and then a little bit on my face. You could do everything with a beauty blender. Number four, my life saver. And everyone's gonna be like, oh, why'd you put this on the list? But listen, this is real talks right now and you need to listen to this. This is serious. I'm gonna tell you all about lip liner, the most underrated makeup product. A lot of people think lip liner is unnecessary. You could just throw your lipstick on because it's so easy, so quick, blah, blah, blah. No, 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 guys. It can change the shape of your lips just like a contour can. You can change your whole lip. Like if we're being honest here, guys, hold on. I wish my lips had a little more 
you know, a oomph at the, or just the top lip, just a little, but also so scared of needles that that's not happening. Also don't want to spend the money. So the way I can rectify that situation is a lip liner. And almost any lip liner works for that. You could buy a cheap lip liner. You could buy an expensive lip liner. You could buy whatever you want, but it is so underrated. It's actually ridiculous. I can redraw my lip and give myself the little oomph I've wanted for a bajillion years just with a lip liner. And I wear lipstick all the time. I mean, if you don't wear lipstick, then ignore what I'm saying. But if you wear lipstick, do it. Just get the main colors you need. You can blend any lipstick almost into certain lip liners. You just need a nude, a pink nude, an, an actual pink, if you wear pinks, depends on the colors you wear, like a dark red and a red. Or again, depending on the colors you wear, if you only wear nudes, just get nude ones. And all you have to do is line your lips. It's so easy. You could get plastic surgery or you could buy a $3 lip liner. It's either filler or a $3 lip liner, if we're being honest here. Just by looking at my lips, they look so much better. And this is just lip liner. And by the way, make sure you fill your lips in with the lip liner because it makes your lipstick last longer. Whether it's a stain or whether it's an actual lipstick, it makes your lipstick last longer. I don't care what anybody says, that's my truth. Boom. We are back, our lips are on, and they are zhushed up a little, as we can tell. Number five is setting spray. Setting spray? is a must. Again, I just said this with like every other like lifesaver that I said, there is affordable and there is expensive. You don't have to buy expensive to get the same outlook or output, outlook, no wait, the same outcome, boom. Setting spray will change everything. Your makeup will stay on for the rest of the day. It helps keep your makeup from breaking apart, from separating from each other products that you put on the face and your skin. It also helps melt the product into the skin, which makes it sit even better all day. And then you have no worries by the end of the day. This is my absolute favorite setting spray. This is the Liz Watier Mag Magnifix setting spray. I also love the Morphe Luminous setting spray. It's a little bit cheaper too. I have a bunch of favorite setting sprays. If that's a video you wanna see about all different setting sprays, I have no problem doing that too. This is the one I'm gonna to use today. This one keeps your makeup on all day. I use this on brides and your makeup goes nowhere. Like it doesn't move, doesn't separate. The only thing you are fixing throughout the day is your lipstick. Do I have lipstick on my teeth? No, okay. I'm so worried now after the last video when there was lipstick on my teeth, I'm so scared. It also keeps you healthy and glowing and it makes your skin look the exact same way. So I'm just gonna spray and we're just gonna, you know. These are my five lifesavers that since I started doing makeup to now have like changed my whole outlook on the way my makeup goes on. These are the five things I make sure that I always do. These will change your makeup game. So I really hope you try them. I really hope you take this advice. And if you like this video and you wanna see more, please like, subscribe, and comment down below and let me know what you wanna see. As always guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.